Harry was indignant like a mad cow when he found out that Meghan was starting to see him as an obstacle. She revealed her true nature. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. According to a royal biographer, Meghan Markle may soon decide that Prince Harry is unnecessary for her requirements as she concentrates on her own goals and achievements. Revenge author Tom Bauer, Dan Wooten, host of GB News's Meghan, Harry and the Battle Between the Windsors, said he thinks Meghan is only looking out for her personal interests and even accused her of creating an incredible marketing campaign. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been releasing their own projects and providing their perspective on life in the firm since leaving their roles as working royals in 2020 and relocating to California. Mr. Bauer asserted that Meghan's main interests are herself and money in his interview with GB News. He added, It's intriguing to see who she hangs around with, who will increase Meghan's fame to its highest level, and who will make her incredibly famous and wealthy. Harry was a first step, but how long would she keep Harry? Perhaps in the near future, Harry won't be necessary for her goals. He went on, Meghan is most affected by the fact that they are impoverished in comparison to their neighbors. She wanted a palace, not five cottages crammed into a little house near Windsor, which is why she was so unhappy with Frogmore. She is therefore actively seeking success, the true question is whether Harry understands it and if he truly wants to accompany that journey. Is he truly as focused on the bottom line as she is? Mr. Bauer also blasted the couple's alleged avarice, saying it was apparent when Harry indicated he would donate a sizable portion of the money from his fantastic book advance to charity, but now only a little portion. And he hasn't put a number on it. Thus, I believe that they are retaining the money while posing as charitable donors and people who are eager to assist. When did she ever not think of her fame and money? His redundancy started the day he gave in to her ultimatum. Either announce I'm your girlfriend or it is off. An older, divorced, D-list actress, for hire customer service provider, giving a prince in a reigning royal family an ultimatum? I would have said, ta-ta, here is your fee and a little bonus for good service. Toodle flip. I need to meet your family first. I decide what and when to do things. This is the deal. Take it or leave it. But then, that is me. Not a petulant, arrested development child besotted with a mummy substitute charlatan. From then on, he swallowed every one of her poor me's, hook, line, and sinker, he was a means to an end, and his end is coming soon. So, Madam has never stopped focusing on herself or money. His previous girlfriends could see clearly what their future with him would be and decided it wasn't what they wanted. Megan jumped at the chance and rushed the marriage before he or anyone could change his mind. Now that she's got him, it seems he's not enough for her. He'll be a basket case when it's over. She'll just take the kids and carry on with the next one. Clearly, this was all part of Meghan's plan. First, get him to marry her. Second, make lots of money out of the royal family. Third, dump the dim one and get a big divorce settlement using the kids as a lever. Hook a Getty to finance her run for the White House and never look back at the damage she caused. Meghan is a scheming and conniving person, who will attempt to bulldoze anyone and everyone who gets in her way. That includes Harry, who has used her from day one. Prince William is 100% correct when he urged Harry to slow down and pace the relationship. It may well be he had done plenty of background research and found out much to dislike about Meghan. The smug, self-satisfied grin on Rachel's face shows her character, but where has she been since Spare was released? Harry's long, miserable face reflects his realization of falling into a well-laid trap. The likely outcome will be a messy, acrimonious, and expensive divorce, 
with Megan using the children to increase the pressure when money comes into play. Everything Markle has accomplished in her life has been due to men, specifically white men. The apex of her career was a role on cable series where she wasn't even the lead. Before that, grilling burgers on a rooftop while skimpily attired. Dusting in her skivvies on CSI New York, a few cheesy Hallmark movies. She never made it because she lacks talent and the it factor. It strains credulity to believe this middle-aged, unattractive has-been, never was-been, will make it now, with or without hapless. One commenter said, I don't believe she was in this marriage for the long haul, only for the publicity and the chance again to play the victim. Most partners would try to bridge the gap of animosity for the sake of family unity and support. However, look at how she treats her family, so that was never going to happen. Harry, get yourself a good lawyer. Hope you had a prenup. Meghan needed Harry to give her a platform, the royal family connection plus titles, respectability, and money. She's got that now, but realizes Harry is limited. He's a liability. She doesn't need him anymore. Time to dump him and go it alone. She thinks she will rake in billions without Harry because she's the star. Harry was only ever a means to this end. However, a royal aide explained Harry's divorce case and confirmed that Meghan thought it was. Harry's inherited wealth is tied up in trusts. He only gets annual dividends, substantial but still no access to the lump sums. The royals weren't rolling in wealth. The palaces and bling didn't belong to them. The jewels were locked up. They had budgeted and so many laws and rules. People kept saying no. Meghan miscalculated big time. A royal author said that the royal family is actually the aggressor, despite the Duke and Duchess portraying themselves as its victims. Harry and Meghan asserted in their Netflix documentary that the royal family intentionally leaked news about the Sussexes to divert attention away from coverage of other firm members. In the show, Jenny Affia, Meghan's attorney, says... There was actually a battle waged against Meghan, and I've seen proof that the palace briefed negatively about Harry and Meghan in order to further other people's goals. Lucy Fraser, a pal of Meghan's, added, Meg was used as the palace's scapegoat. In order to prevent other, less favorable tales from being published, they would feed articles about her, whether they were real or not. What do you think of Harry's limited value to Meghan? Let's predict the outcome of this marriage and let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.